This is brother versus brother, no rules. Mm -mm -mm. What's that over here? I've got an announcement to uh, tell people about in the LA area. Who's the better brother? Uh -huh. Listen, <laughs> I'm trying to be kind. Even though I lost, I'm bringing you a bowl of muffins. This is sort of like a truce. There's probably hair the in there or something. Did you, you want one? do something to them? No, I didn't. I just thought it'd be nice. Let's focus. What is our next challenge? We have a lot of random spaces left. Why don't we just do everything else, all the extra spaces. The final spaces of the house are key. It's one thing to make kitchens and main bedroom suites look phenomenal, but bringing the extra rooms to the next level takes a lot of hard work and creativity. So who are our judges? How about we bring in Egypt Sherrod, Mike Jackson. On Married to Real Estate, Egypt Sherrod and Mike Jackson are masters when it comes to smart renovation, design, as well as the real estate market. Evaluating small spaces like bedrooms, bathrooms, and dens takes a keen eye, so we need them for this challenge. Wait till you see what I do with that extra space. <laughs> Does he realize I don't care? I don't think he has a plan. You care. I know you care. I feel like we need to have some sort of a dance or a horn every hour on the hour. The winners are down here. <laughs> How does it feel when you beat Drew, by the way? Feels good. It feels uh, rejuvenating. <laughs> and the only thing more rejuvenating than beating Drew is doing it again. I gave myself $500,000 as a reno budget for the whole competition and managed to rein in my spending in the living room and kitchen challenges. I spent a bit more than I wanted in my main bedroom, but got back on track with my ADU. For this challenge, I have a lot of rooms to tackle, so I need to keep my spending in check. I'm creating a kid's room, a bathroom, and a guest room. I'm also adding a laundry area in the hallway, as well as a den slash flex space. When I list, these rooms will help me max out my sale price. I think we're in good shape. Four spaces, here's what I have in mind. We're gonna turn the room we're in into a fun kid's bedroom with a playful wallpaper feature, a study area for work and play, and colorful tones all around. Down the hall, I'll modernize the dated original bathroom with sleek, bright tile patterns and countertops that exude luxury. Next to that, in the new guest room, I'll create a plush, comfy vibe that'll make visitors want to overstay their welcome. Finally, I'll convert the extra space behind the kitchen into a den slash flex room with lots of natural light and French doors that walk out to the backyard. Perfect for relaxing inside or out. Shake it apart, go crazy. I feel like I'm getting more of my frustrations out than you are. <laughs> It's so frustrating because I literally thought we had it in the bag. We finished strong. Got it. No more losing. I feel we have this because it's a lot of little spaces that add up to a lot of wow factor. I set aside $600,000 for my overall renovation, and so far, I spent way more than I was hoping on the entrance and living room, as well as the kitchen and dining area. I completely broke the bank expanding the house for my main bedroom suite, but I managed to keep costs in check for my additional dwelling unit. This house has been a real challenge, and I haven't managed to save money anywhere yet, so I have to make sure all my choices are bold ones so that I can see a big return when I sell. Call me crazy? but this is what I have in mind. In the first room, I'll design it with kids of all ages in mind by using bright, bold colors and graphic wallpaper that screams fun. I'll continue the bold color theme in the new bathroom with pink and green tiles for a vintage vibe. In the guest room, warm hardwood floors and deep wall-to-wall, -wall, floor-to-ceiling closets will provide tons of room for clothes and extra storage. Down the hall, I'll turn the dated original main bedroom into a secondary space for family to hang out with large patio doors and custom built-ins around a big media wall. Finally, I'll add value to the house with a full laundry room and a brand new powder room. Two things I know buyers will love. Ah! Oh, how dare you? Oof. I'm in the shower. <laughs> All right, it's already looking better. I want as much wow factor as possible. I have big plans for this den flex space. I want it to be bright and inviting, so we're making space for a huge row of windows along the sidewall. Combine that with the French doors along the back, this room will have more natural light than you can imagine. Woo. And to top it off, we're bringing everything inside the roof totally up to code so those beautiful beams in the room below can be saved. 
In my den, we went with blue for the beams, and I couldn't be happier with how the room is turning out. In the bathroom, since we finally got the right size tub, we're surrounding it with marble tiles and bringing the look across this entire room for a luxurious and timeless feel. Next to that, we're going all out to make my kids' rooms the liveliest place imaginable with light blue paint and a wallpaper accent wall. It's one thing to win over buyers, but if you can win over their kids too, that can seal the deal. I'm creating two super fun bedrooms, so the bathroom in between them has to be on point. I'm adding a tile color scheme that not only catches the eye, but ties into the design of my challenge winning kitchen. Good. Look at this, hey? Wow. This is one of the most gorgeous tiles I think I've ever seen. That is impressive. This is actually getting exciting. I mean, the more and more I'm working with the color, the more excited I get. And with our floor tile and that surround tile. Gorgeous. I love it. Having something like this, it's a vibrant tile, but it's a muted tone, and then just doing a straight brickway pattern, it's making something spectacular out of something that could be very boring. And I think that that's something that will really stand out to the judges and to buyers in the area. Absolutely. The rest of the house is coming together fast. I found the perfect custom desk for my guest room, and with a vibrant green paint on the walls, this won't be your average everyday bedroom. Over in the den, our walled wall built-ins are being installed, and on the ceiling, Breeze was 100% right. The flower wallpaper isn't just a winner, it's a showstopper. In fact, I love it so much that I'm carrying the bold wallpaper theme onto the guest room ceiling and on the walls of the powder room. It's all gonna make my house really stand out on the market. Over in the kids' room, Celso came through with some clutch custom bunk beds. I knew he wouldn't let me down. I can't imagine anyone seeing this fun, dynamic space and not wanting to move in immediately. What's harder, dealing with a sibling or working with a spouse? I'm not sure, well, actually. I, well, at the end of the day, we can kiss and make up, so. Oh, come on. Oh, come gosh. on. Gosh. No, yeah. But see, they can go to separate houses. That's true. We can give each other space. Well, but also, at the end of the day, you're still related, and there's nothing you could do about that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I'm not going to divorce you, know, you. This is going in a terrible direction. <laughs> Let's focus on the challenge at hand. Yes. Okay. You guys are going to have your hands full, because this is a lot of spaces. What are you going to look for? So I'm going to be looking for who added value. OK, I'm looking at design. These aren't the kitchens and the, you know, the owner suite, necessarily, right. but still areas of importance. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at all this color. Oh, nice. I like this. There's a lot of good energy in here. Oh, it's so cute. The wallpaper. I do love the wallpaper. I know you do. It definitely feels kid friendly, but it's not age specific. This is great. The color palette can age well with mm -hmm. them. This could be a bedroom they'd stay in until they're in their teens. This was an amazing space to put a bed like this, mm -hmm. and it fits almost perfectly. But I'm concerned about ceiling height. I can't get up in there and sit up. It's a bed. It's not meant for sitting up. It's up. <laughs> you get in any chair. Guess what? You go this way, uh -huh. you get up there, and you relax. You know why? why? Because the journey is the destination. You know I like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's over here? Whoa, yeah. Okay. Like, wow. Color pop. Loving the flow. Ah. Oh. You, you just feel like you've stepped into an adult version of where we were. Everybody is working from home right now. Mm -hmm. It's just a reality. I like it. Let's see, so this is the bathroom then. Uh -huh. Oh, it's pink. Oh. Blush. Wow. Just comes at you. Do you have a problem with pink bathrooms? I have no problem with a pink bathroom, but don't think about doing it at our house. That's all I'm saying. So say the man with the pink shirt. Listen, fashion, well, they kind of go together, but this has nothing to do with <laughs> This is fashion. Out. This is house fashion. There's a lot that works for me here. This. This is nice. Do you feel like Alice in Wonderland in here a bit? A little bit. This is where we take the small pill, mm -hmm. and then the doors shrink, and <laughs> we walk through uh, Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely but feels like that. This, I think this is where the old owner suite used to be. I love the wallpaper on the ceiling. The pattern on the ceiling draws your eye up and nods to the height of the room. Mm -hmm. I like it. I do like the beam. You've created an entirely different, livable, usable, functional area of a house. Mm -hmm. That is a win. I love this space. Mm -hmm. It feels very intimate. It feels good. This is probably my favorite room so far. Oh, another bathroom. More wallpaper. A lot of wallpaper. <laughs> 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 I love the vanity. Yeah. Last door. Oh. A real laundry room. This was a good use of space. 
Well, having an entire room dedicated to laundry is a must today. Mm -hmm. Now what we've gained is a den, an additional powder room, and a laundry room. Mm -hmm. This is what buyers are looking for. Yeah. They will pay over asking price for it. Oh my goodness, this is, wow. Oh, I like this. Totally different. Oh, in here. Come in here, come on. Okay. Oh, so another kid's room. Right. Which is smart, right? When you're staging a house and you want to prepare to sell, mm -hmm. there's an emotional connection to kids' rooms, so mm -hmm. they both nailed that. How do you feel about the wallpaper on one wall versus around the entire bedroom? It works. But is it too safe? Think about that. Is it too safe? He went with black trim and black doors. That's bold. Oh, it's another uh -huh. bedroom. Okay. Hmm, the furniture placement, perfect. Because you wouldn't think in a room this size you could fit a queen size bed. Mm -hmm. It's all in how you do it. Had you done it this way, it would have shrunk the room. So, super smart. Very intimate, soft too. You know what? We're on TV. What? You keep. I didn't. I was not even thinking Your that. Mama's I watching. was thinking as a designer. You know. <laughs> Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. 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 It's classy. Yeah. Ooh. I love this tub. I mean, just look at this. This is gorgeous. It's a waterfall tub. I love that tub. Yeah. It's deep as well. <laughs> right? I like that it's not a full glass. I like the glass being cut off at this point. Oh, a oh, den. Oh, nice. I didn't expect to see this, and I really like the idea that they added a den at the last house. Uh-huh. You know what pops out to me design-wise? The choice of color on the ceiling, yes. using the blue. I like you know. that they reused what they already had. Because when I saw it before, I was like, man. It could be nice. I hope they don't take that out yeah. and they kept it. Can I see that? Oh, what does it go to? OK, this is cheating. I knew it. <laughs> we cannot judge this competition on the TV. Oh my gosh, I knew it was going to do that. Yeah, it's beautiful, though, I must admit. OK. Anyway. Let's focus. We got to go make a decision, babe. We got to get on the same page yeah. fast. The winner of the Extra Spaces Challenge is, is... Bring it in here. Um, That's it. What a great way to wrap up the challenges, right? What? <laughs> Listen, you both did an amazing job.